It's important today that we remind ourselves that we live on a planet. We tend to forget where we are in space. When many of us were in school, we learned that the planets and moons around us were dead and dormant. Well, actually, what this show tells us is that it couldn't be farther from the truth. This space show, Worlds Beyond Earth, focuses on the worlds in our solar system. And what we've learned by going to them is that they're more active than we thought they were. Some have magnetic fields, others have oceans, others have atmospheres. Processes we recognize from our Earth but that are different on these other worlds. We could define the term world in different ways, but for me, I think it's about any object that can tell us about the history of where our solar system came from. These objects could be small, just a few kilometers in diameter or something the size of Jupiter, but they all have an important part of that story to tell us. We know about these worlds because we've gone there. If we hadn't gone there with our instrumentation or our astronauts, we'd be still back in the era of looking at these things from the ground with telescopes. We've been exploring our solar system for 60 years. And in that time, we've learned amazing things. We've learned by going to those places and exploring them with orbiters, with flybys, with landers. And we learn about these planets, but then we learn from them about our own planet. This show will create a sense of wonder about the solar system, but most especially about our own Earth and how unique and wonderful it is that this planet, where complex life and humans have evolved, is so different from these other places. What we're learning is that when we go out there, nothing is as we expected. There's activity everywhere, and our solar system is still evolving and changing. Our solar system is not finished. I'm Lupita Nyong'o. We're on a mission to explore worlds beyond Earth.